My name is Paul Armstrong. I teach at Brown and I teach courses on the novel and the modern period and uh, literary interpretation. One of my favorite books in the world and that um, I, I love to teach is Henry James's uh, novel Portrait of a Lady. Um, and I teach a, course, uh, teach, teach a course on Henry James and the modernist novel regularly and I, I, I lead in with that book because I, I, I know it's going to get him because of the fascination of the character, Isabel Archer, who's the central figure in, in Portrait of a Lady. Um, and this is another book that I think, and I tell my students that, that it'll be with them in different ways throughout their entire lives um, because of the kinds of issues that Isabel confronts. And um, James was fascinated with her because um, she was an American girl who uh, uh, was impatient with the limitations of her life in Albany, New York, goes to Europe and has a sense of infinite sudden possibility opened up to her, but finds that infinite horizons without a particular commitment are not all that gratifying. And I mean, part of what I've been interested in literature um, professionally has been the kind of philosophical, existential questions that literature raises. And, and these are also questions that my students care about and that brought me to literature. And the and Portrait of a Lady is a great example because it's a, a wonderful work about um, the conflict between freedom and limitation, between possibility and, 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 and commitment. Henry James does that um, uh, as masterfully as anyone, even more masterful. But I've talked to um, a lot of very successful people in, in a variety of walks of life, uh, executives, business people, people in the entertainment industry, uh, who were English majors, who will look back at the English courses they took and said, this, these were the courses that mattered most to me um, because you know, I learned how to think and think critically um, about uh, questions to which there are no easy answers. But they'll rise farther in their profession from the kind of skills they get being able to interpret difficult situations with complexity and, and sensitivity and being articulate about them in ways that they wouldn't if they you know, went into a more um, you know, uh, seemingly practical major.